Hi, I'm Organ Nick. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a beautiful pyramid called One Love. It's a Rasta pyramid and it's got a special lotus seed of life emblem on the front and it's just a beautiful pyramid and if you're interested in making a pyramid like this or you just want to see how it was made stick around we're going to get started making it right now okay i'm not exactly sure how to tell you what to get together for this video i actually am starting with this mold it's one of those long pyramid molds I'm sticking it in my other pyramid mold because this one doesn't come with a stand. And I want to make my first pyramid in it. And I want to bring you guys along, but I'm not sure exactly what to make. So I think I'm just going to make this on the fly. And we'll just see how it goes as we move along. And I am starting with a green Lemurian seed crystal, a long one. So I think this will be our perfect starter and we'll just make this up as we go along and see what we end up with. So I've never used this pyramid before and it's kind of weird because it's one long flat thing and you curl it around and then you have to tape it shut. So there's like a crack down at the bottom kind of like in an ice cream cone or a waffle cone. Um, they're not always extremely put together so there's like a little crack that stuff can come out of the bottom and I hope that will be very minimal and easy to control but anyway I'm gonna start off with an ounce like I normally do with my other pyramids and I'll just see where this takes us and I'm not sure how many uh, drops of hardener is suggested for this type of resin I just remember that whatever it did suggest wasn't enough for me and I use nine drops to start and nine drops for every ounce thereafter. I've got one ounce so I am going to put 18 drops in. And you can also make this with epoxy resin, it's just going to take you a little bit longer. I'm using polyester casting resin and that sets up fairly quickly and with hardly any bubbles at all. Epoxy resin, you have a lot of bubbles to contend with. Okay. I poured some in there so I can get my crystal situated. Yay, it's standing up straight. Please stay that way. One thing I can tell you is that I will probably do the gold flex in the next layer. And I finally got some new nitrile gloves. I'm so grateful for that. I had to use those horrible sticky gloves for several days. Okay, so join me on my next layer. Okay, I'm sorry I can't get the camera any higher than that or to be able to move the, the mold any differently. Um, I've been tearing up little gold flecks out of these big flakes. I mean, these are some big flakes that these, this gold stuff comes in. Like, that's a flake. I mean, these are bigger than cornflakes. Okay. In these plastic cups, the gold leafing is so attracted to the statically charged plastic, it sticks up near the top, so I have to push it back down and get it all in the mix. All right, so we've got our crystal in the apex, and beneath that we've got our gold flex layer. And our next layer, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do just yet. I'm thinking of doing some roses. 
and then going about adding gemstones. So um, I'll know when I start it, I guess. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I have picked out my gemstones for this piece, but I just want to tell you that I just noticed that um, this did leak exactly like an ice cream cone does. And in my lower pyramid mold, I can see how the resin has seeped out um, into that reservoir. So anyway, I hope this will be easy to um, make look good. I'm a little concerned about that leaky part and maybe I should tape it up better next time. But I think I am going to start off with a layer of roses. And roses takes two layers to, or half a layer at a time to do. So it's going to take two pours to secure my roses in a layer of resin because they like to float on top of it. No matter how much resin you pour in there, it's gonna float to the top. So it's best that you not put too much resin in when doing the flowers. Whoops, so these are the roses that I'm using. Perfect. So after this congeals some, um, I can come back and pour the rest of the resin to cover the roses and then we'll get on with our gemstones. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the roses layer. I think I've poured way too much resin. I just needed a tiny bit, I guess. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to let that um, congeal. Okay, so I definitely decided to do the Rasta colors, and I'm going to start out with my red coral. Okay, so we got our red coral out of the way. We next have the dyed citrine and the peridot green. And then we're gonna do a metal, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do brass. I might even add a layer of zinc or copper BBs. Okay, so it's time to do our citrine. Actually, I wanted to do a layer of copper or zinc BBs. I think I'll use the copper. I'll just need a thin layer to cover the BBs. And that did it. And I've got like three quarters of an ounce left over. I hate wasting resin. Anyway, I, I definitely wanted to put a layer of BBs there and I completely forgot. So our next layer will be the citrine. Okay, now it's finally time for the citrine. Again, I poured too much resin. I've got this much left over, so. I should be careful next time. Okay, time to add the brass. I think I'm gonna need some more resin for this. I 
definitely calls for more resin. Okay, so we are finished with this pyramid. Now it just needs to harden, and I think it will be safe to demold sometime tonight. So uh, I'll be back to do that. See you in a minute. Okay, it's time to demold this piece, and I have never used this pyramid before, so I don't know how it's gonna come out. I've never taken this apart. But I am going to remove this out of the way since we don't need it. And this is like one whole flat sheet and you curl it together like an ice cream cone and then you put tape on it on this part and that's where we'll start to separate them. Here we go. All right, it came out. That's actually really beautiful. Oh, I love it. The gold flecks look really good and the rosebuds and the Rasta colors and the metals. I hope you're getting to see that well enough. It's so beautiful. And the brass shavings. So what needs to happen now is I need to sand down the edges and what I use to sand down the edges is an emery board. I get a lot more control out of that than I do regular sandpaper. And so while we have it here, I'm gonna go ahead and stick the feet on. The feet are cabinet dampening bumpers, which is just a half inch uh, circle of rubber. And we're just gonna peel those off and Stick them at each corner. One thing I like about this skinny pyramid better than my fat pyramid is that I don't, it doesn't take as much resin and gemstones to fill a layer. So I can express a layer with far fewer stones and fewer um, or less resin so I'm really liking that part of it there I have the the feet put on so I just need to go ahead and sand this and then I'm going to find um, one of my hologram emblems to put on this so I have to pick one of them out and um, when I do, I will rejoin you so you can see me put it on and see what it looks like um, all together. So I will be back shortly. Okay, so I have decided on this Lotus Seed of Life sticker. It's prismatic in gold. And I am just going to stick this on the front. These kinds of stickers has both a front and a back sticker on them. You peel off the backing and then the sticker and the top sticker, you put on whatever you want to put it on. You rub the design so that the actual sticker adheres to the piece. And then that top sticker, you're just gonna peel it off leaving the prismatic gold emblem underneath. And this one is doing a wonderful job of staying on. All right, that did it really good. So we're just gonna stick that down. And that's what she looks like. So beautiful. I just love this piece.
Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up. You know it makes me super happy when you do that. Also, subscribe to my channel for more Organite ideas. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be made aware of new projects as they come out. I'm Organ Nick. Thank you for joining me today in my Organite studio. Have yourself an amazing rest of your day. I just wanted to remind you, please don't forget to win this pyramid, the Flight of Pegasus. It will be drawn on the 23rd of June. Get your entries in if you want to win.